Hey, what's going on guys, Brinkers here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to fix the DAX to CEX semi brick that you get from um, switching your PS3 from, say, uh, 3.55 DAX official firmware to, um, like, just to normal CEX or whatever, 3.55. So you're going to need um, three things for this. You're going to need the US, you're going to need a USB dongle with a payload to go to uh, factory mode. So, like, the E3 card reader or the Cobra dongle, which I've got here. Uh, it finally came, by the way, like I told you that it would. Um, I'm really happy that it came. I'm overpaid for it, but, you know... I paid nearly £30 for it, which is like, I don't know, 40 going to $50, I think. But anyway, um, then here you've got um, just a USB pen formatted to FAT32. Um, you just want to format it, back all your files up, format it to FAT32. And um, yeah, that's what you need to do with that. And you're also going to need a firmware that's going to be in a file that I put in the, in the description as well. So just download the file in the description, and I'm going to head over to my computer now to show you what you need to do. Okay, so once you're on your computer, you're going to want to download the file in the description. It's called the Dex Fix Fatis folder. And by the way, I don't always have my, my icons this big. It's just so you can see this part. But um, yeah, inside that folder, you'll get these four folders here. And uh, what you're going to want to do is you want to drag this lv 2 diagself into here, the number one. And um, you're going to want to re oh no, you're going to want to rename it and just remove the brackets and the one, so it's renamed like that. And you're also going to want to remove this uh, PS3 up that. Uh, PUP onto your USB stick as well, and um, that'll take like 30 seconds. So I'll just uh, move that over. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so once that's finished, you're just going to want to switch over to your PS3 now, and I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to unplug the uh, power cord out your PS3. You can just turn it off at the wall, but um, I just do this anyway. So once you've unplugged it, you just want to get your USB dongle and you want to put it into the right USB slot of your PS3, which I'm doing now. Okay, so put your your USB dongle in the right USB port. And then you're going to want to plug your uh, power cable back in, which I'm going to do now. I uh, can't show you this because I've got my charger in my uh, laptop, I mean in my PC. Okay, so once you've got that in, what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to press the power button on. And then quick, you want to press the eject button quickly. Okay, so I'll show you. Just like so. As you can see, it goes red and then blue, and then it beeps, and then it goes off, like that, okay? Now what you want to do is unplug your USB dongle, like so, and then you want to put your USB with the two files in the right USB port, just like we did before. Then you want to power on your PS3, and then what you want to do is you just want to power on your PS3, and if all went well, you should see the PS3 reading the stuff in the USB pen, and the hard drive of your PS3. But wait for the pop, the console to turn off. So you can hear your hard drive if you listen closely. Okay, so I realised that I didn't actually have my um, my PS3 plugged in with like the HDMI. But all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the USB pen that you have in there. You just want to take it out and power on your PS3. And if all went well, your PS well your screen should look something like this. Now, you should get this uh, red box in the corner saying PS3 factory service mode. Ignore these advertisements in the corner. I need to learn how to take them off, but it does that anyway. But um, yeah, as you can see, it says that um, your PS3 is inside factory mode. So um, all you're going to want to do is power off your PS3. And now all we're going to want to do is go over to our um, PC again. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to plug back in our USB stick into our PS3, like so. I mean, into our computer, sorry. And um, oh yeah, and if all went well, you should see this update underscore log in your um, in your file here. But um, all we're going to do is we're going to delete all the files in your USB stick and you're going to want to move this LV2 diag, the, the number 2 one, into your um, USB stick and delete the brackets in the 2 and we're going to switch back over to my PS3 now to show you what we need to do again. Okay for the final part of the tutorial, once you've got that file on your USB stick you're going to want to plug it in the right slot of your USB, meaning your uh, PS3 again, in the right USB port. And then once you've done that, you want to power on your PS3 and the console will automatically uh, power itself back off in a second.
just like so. And then if we power our PS3 back on, our console will be fully unbricked. If we look. There we go, Sony make believe. So um, that has been the tutorial on how to um, unbrick your console. Um, if you have any more questions, please ask. But this has been the tutorial on how to unbrick your console. Uh, thanks for watching, and as I said now, all my daily videos are coming back. So I'll see you later, guys. Bye.